to Rachel Makes. Today I'm going to make some lemon curd, so I'll show you what we need. We need two eggs plus one extra egg yolk whisked together, and I've actually sieved that. Um, I know it sounds a bit extreme, but if you don't sieve it, what you can end up with in your lemon curd is some strands of egg white, which look a bit like snot. So I, there's no nice way of putting that. So um, I don't think anybody would want that. 100 grams of butter. It does have to be butter, I'm afraid, not margarine, or else it won't taste nearly as nice. 175 grams of caster sugar, um, and the grated zest, finely grated zest, and juice of three lemons. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is go over to the hob. We need a pan and a wooden spoon and melt the butter. So I've melted the butter on the hob, so now we need to add the sugar, okay, and the lemon juice. And then the zest. Okay, stir that through. Then the eggs. And what needs to happen now is this needs to just be on the heat, stirring on a very, 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 very low heat, really low heat, stirring that. And you'll know it's ready when it starts to coat the back of the spoon. And if you put your finger through it, you'll kind of leave a trail there. I can't impress on you enough how low the heat has to be, otherwise you end up with lemony scrambled eggs. Okay, so I've been stirring this around, well, for around 10 minutes now, really on a low, low, low heat and continual stirring. And hopefully you can see that if I put my finger through it there, it leaves a trail on the spoon. That means it's ready. So now I'm going to pour it into a sterilized jar. Okay. Putting a jar through the dishwasher is enough to sterilise it. Um, other than that, you can do it in the oven and you can obviously look up precise temperatures and so on for doing that. That's it. So that, that was lemon curd. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe and I'd love to hear your comments. Nice ones, please. Bye bye.